Okay, what was the biggest shocker for you of tonight's debate? That Donald Trump doesn't believe in American democracy, that he won't accept the, the outcome of a presidential election. And I, I know some people are trying to say, well, Al Gore this and Al Gore that. That was after there was a close count and people were questioning, um, people were looking at what truly would be the outcome of that election. This is 20 days before the election, and he's saying he doesn't know if he'll trust the outcome. I'll ask you this. What if Vladimir Putin said, the American elections are rigged. You cannot trust who the win, who, you cannot trust the outcome of the American presidential election. How would we as a country, how would we as American people respond? We'd be in an uproar. We'd be going nuts. Access Hollywood would be going all around the country. What do you think of Vladimir Putin saying you can't trust American democracy and our elections are rigged? <laughs> right? Right? So, I mean, we, we would be going nuts. And for Donald Trump to question American democracy, that's a question a six-year-old can answer. You know, that's the first thing you learn in civics when, when you go to grade school. And for him not to accept that for our country, I mean, that's just inconceivable. That's just inconceivable. Another big phrase that's picking up a lot of steam on social media, bad hombre. Bad hombre. I mean, I'll let Donald Trump explain what that means. You know, and what else did he call her? Um, a nasty woman? I mean, this he's calling her liar, 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 crooked, 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 crooked. Naming, calling her every name he can think of. But she comes back at him one time, and he's intimidated and calls calls her a nasty woman. That's just crazy. That's, that's temperament, right? That's who we want to be president. This is an open book test. He knew what the topics were coming in, and he didn't give an in-depth answer to a single one of them. They asked him about his tax plan, and Chris said um, that people said, the economists said the numbers didn't add up. He talked about everything but his numbers adding up or not. They talked about his program increasing the debt 100 to 105 percent of GDP. He blamed everything on her but didn't answer the question at all. He wanted to talk about, you know, people escaping, um, were giving um, the, the ISIS leaders our intentions in advance and they're escaping. He didn't address what was going on in Mosul at all. Not at all. Hillary Clinton's trying to give well thought out um, answers, and she did. Donald Trump is saying the same nonsense he said the last two debates.